In this video, we're going to harvest the experiment um, using variegated hydrangea where we did both tip cuttings, terminal, and subterminal cuttings, so something that didn't have the tip. From a visual inspection perspective, uh, these are much more green on the tip cutting side. We've got a lot more yellowing on the on the plants that are subterminal. And we'll but but um, there are some experiments that we're looking at this time that show you that a visual inspection from the top doesn't always tell you the whole story. So we're gonna dig these up and we're gonna see which of them have roots and which of them do not have roots. Let's just go ahead and we'll start with the um, terminal cuttings over here. I'm gonna kind of pop up a bunch of this and we'll just see what's happening underneath. This is such a beautiful hydrangea. I can see that there's some flower buds in some of these terminal cuttings. The thing that we're trying to check here is whether the hormones in that tip have an influence on uh, rooting capacity. Okay. So here we go. I've kind of roughed them all up a little bit now so we can just pull. Okay. All right. That one has roots. This one has roots. This one has roots. Roots, roots, roots. All right, this is a nice example of what the roots look like as they're starting to come out of that stem. Okay. Roots, roots, roots. More roots. Hey, look at this. We got a lot of roots. Roots, roots. Oh, no roots. Look at that. This one just barely has roots. And this one is starting to get roots too. Okay, so we've got one that's a no-go. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, and 18. We've got 18 that do have roots, so that means somewhere along the way we lost one and it shriveled up and no longer exists. Okay, so that is the terminal cutting side. And even the ones that only have a little bit of root in this case, we're gonna keep because the propagation material is expensive and it takes a really, really long time to grow these variegated hydrangeas. And since they're just something that we want a lot of, uh, we will keep them. Okay. Next, let's go over to our subterminal side. We're going to do the same thing where we dig everything up in the bed here. Visual inspection definitely showed that um, we had a lot less going on with these ones. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what's actually there. Nothing. Nothing but some side growth. Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, something. Something little. Not much. Oh, there's another one. Something little. Okay, and nada. Okay, so here it looks like we have two that developed roots, but they're not nearly as well developed as the other ones that we did. And then one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen that we can still see stuff uh, not germinating on or not growing on, but um, we're missing two. So I would just say that we have two for 20 um, on this cutting. And these are not, they don't really look that good to me. So even though we want to try to save as much propagation material as possible from the variegated hydrangea, I think we're going to toss these because it's going to take a lot longer for a product like this to go to market um, than it is for a product like this to go to market. All right, so there you have it. Terminal versus subterminal cuttings in hydrangea. And it looks like the terminal cuttings were way more successful than the subterminal.